All right, let's start with one of our top stories today. Lesotho's Prime Minister Tom Tabane left his country for South Africa in the early hours of this morning for urgent medical care. Well, he was due to appear in a Maseru court today to face murder charges. He's accused of plotting the murder of his estranged wife, Dipulelo. The current First Lady, Masia, has also been charged for the murder. The Sutu Police uh, Deputy Police uh, Commissioner Baseka Mugeti joins me now on the line. A very good evening to you, Deputy Police Commissioner. Thanks indeed for your time here on The Full View. Uh, good evening, ma'am. Uh, Deputy Police Commissioner, I think let's start here. What was your reaction to the Prime Minister's no-show in court and sudden trip to South Africa for medical care? Well, that on its own actually left us wondering as to what had happened because we had agreed with his lawyer that he would appear <coughs> before the court this morning. But to our amazement, uh, he did not show us. Mm. I'll come to uh, the uh, conversations that I understand were had between the authorities and uh, the Prime Minister's lawyer, but uh, let's just get some clarity at this stage, uh, first, uh, Deputy Commissioner, over some speculation doing uh, the rounds. Is there a warrant of arrest out for the Prime Minister, Tom Tabane? No, no the warrant of arrest is not yet obtained. Yes, we did not apply for it. Um, because we are yet to ascertain as to the reasons why the Prime Minister uh, did not show up as expected this morning. Mm. So as far as you were concerned, yes. uh, you were not informed at all that he will not make the court appearance. I understand uh, that uh, you also uh, met with uh, his lawyer yesterday and he did not indicate that his client would not be attending the court proceedings. Are you perhaps also looking into whether he defeated the ends of justice or are you satisfied that he did not know? Well, as I said, we, we are able to assist him as the, the fact as to whether indeed he attended the medical checkup as it is alleged. And secondly, having been informed or having uh, 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 verified the facts, we'll take action accordingly. However, as for now, we are not in the position to say uh, he, has, he has breached any, any provisions of the law. Yes. How are you gathering uh, that, and that information, uh, uh, Deputy Police Commissioner, just to uh, um, uh, be sure that the reasons that have been given by uh, um, uh, Prime Minister Tom Tabane are indeed as it is being put? Well, um, his lawyer today presented to us a copy of the leave which has been granted by one um, doctor from Clockland in the Republic of South Africa, who purported to have consulted with the, uh, the Prime Minister telephonically. We are trying to verify the authenticity or otherwise of that belief, but we, we are continuing to receive reports that, which I actually doubt the reports uh, from um, medical experts from doctors, they doubt that uh, somebody can um, consult telephonically mm. uh, for the person of, um, who is suffering from the, the illness that is indicated in the sickness. So uh, if there is aspersions that have been cast on the doctor consulting with the prime minister over the telephone, uh, what is the next step in terms of the police then trying to verify that indeed the prime minister is in South Africa for medical care and that he had not left that country avoiding justice? Well, that will depend on the availability of evidence. As I said, we are going to assert in fact that's what I indeed he did go to the Republic of South Africa for medical attendance, and uh, having uh, verified the facts, we will we'll act accordingly. All right, so the First Lady is also facing similar charges on the same matter. Do you know at this stage if she is with the Prime Minister here in South Africa? I'm also just trying to gauge because uh, if there were restrictions also placed on her travel, given that she had previously fled to South Africa. Well, we are not uh, concerned as for now about the first lady. We are, we are, we are 
seriously looking for the prime minister to show up before the court of law and be formally charged to us. There are some allegations that, well, uh, the charges framed against uh, are politically motivated, which the claim which was falsely uh, dismissed. Because in, in reality, somebody has been murdered. Uh, the, the, the wife to the prime minister was killed some, 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 some time in 2017, and now yes. the evidence that we have gathered so far actually um, indicates that the prime minister and, of course, his wife and other uh, suspects that who are likely to appear before court any time soon from now are also involved. All right, we're going to leave it there. We'll continue this discussion. Uh, Paseka Mukiti, who is the Lesotho Police uh, Deputy P uh, Commissioner, talking to us about that country's uh, Prime Minister uh, leaving for South Africa for medical care in the wee hours of this morning when he was due to appear in court on murder charges relating to the death of his uh, former wife. Let's